Hi, Eugene. I recently spoke to you about our community's road to recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic and how it will be a long one. Governor Kate Brown has told us the same thing, and along with her counterparts in Washington and California, they are urging restraint. We don't do this lightly. We all want to return to normalcy sooner rather than later. But as Governor Brown says, the best path forward is a cautious one, and one that proceeds gradually, carefully, and incrementally. I maintain the best thing we can all be doing right now is staying home unless it's absolutely necessary to go out. We are making progress in our fight to flatten the curve of the pandemic. Now isn't the time to let up. Our recovery planning has already started, so we are prepared. New staff have come on board to the Emergency Operations Center who are solely focused on recovery. The developing long-term community recovery plan includes business and employment recovery assistance, housing assistance, and development and infrastructure supports, as well as the city's cultural services, events, and activities that bring us lively, engaging experiences. We know that thriving communities work together and across all levels. We've already seen multiple groups come together. Stores, where we shop for food and other essential items, continue to change their practices to allow for more room and space. A 4J school board member recently organized a food and supplies donation for those who really need help. Volunteers collected $10,000 in donations and will be able to help hundreds of local families. It was so successful they immediately planned another donation drive. People continue to order food from our restaurants, taking it home. A much needed boost to those companies that employ our friends and neighbors and are trying to hold on. These are all little things that can make a big difference. All of them have one uniting goal, limit the spread of COVID-19. It brings me joy to see us working together and reminds me that we all need to stay the course. I hope this leaves you feeling optimistic too and a renewed sense of staying the course to stay home and save lives. We will get through this together. Thank you, Eugene, and take care.